Hello and welcome to the third NodeGoat video tutorial. In this video, you will see how you can visualize data. In our project, we now have two types, the shared type city and our newly created type person. The type person currently contains one object, Jacob Grimm. To run a visualization in NodeGoat, you have three options. One, if you click on a type and click on one of the visualizations, NodeGoat will visualize all the objects in this type. Two, if you click on the info icon or edit button of one object and run a visualization, NodeGoat will only visualize the selected object. And three, if you perform a quick search or a filter, which we will use in the next video, NodeGoat will visualize all the objects that match the filter. We now visualize all objects in this type, currently only Jacob Grimm. To do so, we select the geographical visualization. Because, because we visualize in the time and space, the map uses the data in the subobjects. You can interact with this map in a number of ways. In the top left corner, you can zoom in and out, or just use your scroll wheel. You can drag the map to explore other regions. And in the top right corner, you see the legend of this map. All the lines are color coded. The lines represent the directionality between the subobjects that you have entered. At the bottom of the screen, you find a timeline that you can use to interact with the visualization. You can shorten the time frame and enlarge it in order to see developments accumulate. In this way, you see the subsequent movements of an object through time. In this case, we see the biography of Jacob Grimm unfold. You can also shorten the time frame and use it to scroll through time like this. These visualizations are not just a way of showing your data, but also a way of exploring and interacting with your data. In this sense, a visualization is not an end product, but a point of departure for new research questions. To get a better understanding of the data in your visualization, you can hover over a line or a dot, and also click on a line or a dot to inspect the data that is behind this line or a dot. Once you start adding more data, you will notice that the exploration of your data via visualizations will start to become an integral part of your research process. When we close the geographical visualization, we can open up the social visualization. This visualization uses a force layout based on the relations between objects. Again, it uses the subobjects to position the objects in time and space. We currently created only one object with no actual relations, so the graph renders empty. We can, however, include the objects itself and also the location references. This gives us a simple graph of our single object and the four locations that we have been using in the subobjects. You now got a basic understanding on how to get started in NodeGoat. Other NodeGoat tutorials will help you to explore specific functionalities in NodeGoat.